Hello, my name is Peter Summer and I'm the professor of saxophone here at Colorado State University in Fort Collins. And I hope to give you some tips to help you prepare for your Colorado All-State Band auditions. In this video, we're gonna be covering the D major etude on page 19 of the Foxman Selected Studies. Because this etude is slightly slower, it's marked Andante con gusto, I think it's really important that we employ some vibrato on the held notes so that they don't feel dead and lifeless. Um, it's easy for the saxophone to sound rather blunt because it is a very strong sounding instrument. And the vibrato just helps to warm up the tone on the held notes. In this case, I would plan on definitely using vibrato on anything longer than an eighth note. Employ the vibrato by starting in tune and then gently loosening the embouchure through motion at the jaw to create a nice round shape to the vibrato. If you bite up into the reed, you're gonna get a more jagged sound, which will tend to sound sharp. And if we really loosen the embouchure too much, it's good, the sound will tend to spread and we'll lose our nice focused tone we've worked so hard to achieve. As I was preparing this etude, one of the challenges for me was the trill in bar five. I found at the requested tempo for the auditions, it was very difficult for me to play a full trill um, at that particular point. It was easier for me to treat it as a turn just going from E up to F sharp, back to E, down to D sharp, up to E, and then on with the music, F sharp, etc. cetera. Um, I think one option would be if you wanted to pull back the tempo there a little bit, you could play a full trill. But for me, I prefer to keep the rhythm constant and the tempo even, so I just use a, tr a turn there. And how I would practice that is start by just leaving the ornament out altogether. Just play from E and then F sharp on up in time, rhythmically accurately. And then go ahead and add the D sharp and E back in as closing notes. Once that's comfortable, go ahead and add the whole turn E, F sharp, E, D sharp, E, up to F sharp, adding the whole thing back in while maintaining time with the metronome. Here's a short demonstration of how I would practice that. There's a lot of room for expression in this etude and a lot of great information on the page in terms of dynamics, crescendos, and diminuendos. And while you should follow those instructions carefully, I would also encourage you to learn as much as you can about expression through recordings of great performances. Find recordings of great saxophone performances and then other instruments that share a similar means of expression as a saxophone, like violin, cello, the human voice. You can learn a lot about the ingredients that go into making a successful and expressive performance by following a lot of, um, of the expression of these great players. Thank you so much for watching today. Uh, if I can be of any help, if there's any reason you need to contact me, you can find my contact information at the CSU Music website, which is music.colostate.edu, or my own personal website, which is www.petersummerjazz.com. Thanks so much and have a great day. Next, I'm going to play a complete performance of the D major etude on page 19 of the Voxman Selected Studies. 